Hey everyone, Big One's here. I'm doing the Battleship mission, all assists turned on, uh, version 1.8.1.4a. So I'm going to start off by going all ahead full, staying on the surface for now. I'm going to set a course to intercept. Um, typically everybody moves uh, clockwise, or the enemy does. So my intercept course, if you notice, I'm not heading right at 170. I'm going to head at about 210 uh, and try to cut him off. My detection, he can detect me within 3,000 meters now. To play it safe, once he hits about 4,000 meters, which means once he's visible on the screen, that's when I will submerge. But for now, I'm going to stay on the surface until, you know, just keep as much speed and get as close to him as I can. So I'm going to watch up on the left and watch the, uh, the main display. So I'm going to go down to about 30 meters once I, he is detected. So I'm going to go below periscope depth which will take my detection bubble down to about 50 meters. So he'll have to be really close before he can see me. I'm sorry, not 50, but 500 meters before he can see me. So right here, it looks like he's moving counterclockwise, so I actually make an adjustment, which surprised me because every enemy I've always seen in this, every time I've done this, it's always clockwise. Uh, but I hadn't played in a while, so I kind of said, okay, maybe they, the developers fixed something on me and, and randomized it, but all right, he's within 4,000 meters now, so I'm submerging. I'm going to go one line past that thick line right there, which will take me down to the desired depth, which will take my detection. They'll have to be within 500 meters to detect me. So now that I can see him, I can see that he actually is moving clockwise, so I adjust my course accordingly. Again, I'm just trying to get an intercept course. He's headed to the west. I'm headed south, southwest right now. Uh, just trying to keep him uh, in front of me and catch up to him as quickly as I can. I'm going to edit here because it's just basically a lot of waiting, some minor course corrections. Again, just trying to keep that intercept course, just making minor adjustments. But other than that, just continuing on. So you can see my depth there. You can see my detection range is down to about 500 meters, and he's at about 2,000 meters there. Again, just minor course corrections as we go, but other than that, just continuing on. I'm going to put the welder on my belt because I will need that later on. See, he's at 2,000 meters now to my south. About 1,800 meters. This is really about, I don't know, nine minutes of just running and catching up to him. And what I'm waiting for is for him to get within 1,000 meters. I want to be as close as possible. He can't fire his hedgehog mortars at me until he is 2,500 meters away. So what I'm going to do is once he's within 1,000 meters, I want to get him close. Then I'm going to head straight toward him as he turns away and tries to run just to make it take as long as possible for him to get to that 2,500 meters and start shooting those hedgehogs. I want to get as many shots on him as possible before then. So here he is about to cross 1,000 meters. So I'm going to make a minor course correction just to keep things going right. There he is crossing 1,000. He still doesn't know I'm there because he's still got another 200 meters or so before he'll detect me. So what I'm going to do is head on back to the periscope room. And I'm going to get ready to get my first four shots on him. So what I'm going to do here is uh, using the remote, I will bring us to periscope depth. And get the periscope up now. At this point, he's going to know I'm there which is fine. He will start running away and he'll start firing some torpedoes at me. I will take some torpedo damage, but it will be minimal. So there he is right in front of me, locking on. As soon as I get a good lock, I will fire the first four torpedoes. For some reason, I'm having trouble with the control on my left hand there. I did take some torpedo hits, that's fine. Now I'm lowering below periscope depth, but I already have a lock on him, which is good. 
right? So I'll be able to get some more shots on them um, without coming back up to periscope depth and subjecting myself to torpedo fire. But also, um, he won't be able to fire his hedgehog mortars yet because he's going to be too slow. So I'm just fixing the leak. Here. So just waiting for my torpedoes to load. What I'm going to do is use the radio control for the torpedo to keep the crosshair on the battleship. And I'm going to watch that upper left indicator there to see how far away he is. Basically, like I said, 2,500 meters, which is almost straight up and down on that, is when he's going to start firing hedgehogs. making changes and adjusting those levers below the uh, screen. As soon as we're loaded, we'll fire. So we should be able to get eight shots into him, no problem, before he is turning around to fire hedgehogs. So there you go, there's eight shots out. Or sorry, five, six, seven, and eight. We've already hit them four times from the first volley. Again, just using the radio controls to make sure he gets hit. There we go. So that's eight out of the 10 shots required to sink him. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna get to 2,500 meters. He's gonna make a big turn. We're not gonna be able to keep the crosshair on him anymore. So I'm going to try. Sometimes it works, but usually it doesn't. Just keep in mind at this point, I can't see him visually. So he's almost at 2,500 meters, and you'll see immediately he's going to start turning right when he hits that line. There he goes. You can see he's already turning. And he's just lining up his hedgehogs on me. So at this point, I can't make adjustments. He's going to fire some torpedoes at me, but there's not much I can do about that. So what I'm going to do is get the periscope depth, lock on again. I will get hit by a torpedo. That's OK. Just need to lock on. There we go. And I'm going to go back down below periscope depth. He's got a torpedo out on me. Now that I got the new lock, we're ready to fire. So here's shots 9 and 10 coming out. Now it's just a matter of keeping the crosshair on him. I'm not even going to repair right now. I'm thinking I'm well, target destroyed. This is done. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, or want me to do any other videos, uh, leave a comment. Thanks.